just give me a release date. Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today we are finally taking a look again at Warhammer Odyssey. No, I did not forget about this game. And no, I am not huge into mobile MMOs. But one game particular that I've had my eye on for a long time, Warhammer Odyssey. I've got a fairly large size group of friends and every once in a while we will start a game together on the mobile side of things and this is the game that we've been keeping our eye on and for today what we're going to be talking about is the dev q a where we got some new information based upon the quest line and really what this game's progression system is all about but first if you're new here Welcome. Here at Action RPG, I stream, I do tech reviews, I cover major gaming news, but the big portion of this channel, all things Action RPG. So if you grew up loving the Diablo series, if you're a fan of top-down, isometric, hack-and-slash style games, you are in the right place. So please consider subscribing and supporting smaller channels. All right, let's get on to the Odyssey. As always, I will share my thoughts. Please feel free to share yours in the comment section below. Here we go. All right, everybody, so let's jump right into this. Right now I'm on MMORPG.com. This is an article written by Kevin Chick, and this is an exclusive interview from the developers at Warhammer Odyssey and MMORPG.com. I'm going to skip all this intro stuff and just jump right into the questions. Will there be an overarching storyline for players to experience? Answer. Yes, there is a main storyline, and it will con continue over planned episode content releases in the future. Okay, so they plan on continuing the storyline through episodes. Nothing unique there. Can players expect to see many side quest lines or region storylines? Answer, absolutely. While the main storyline is to be a thread that will continue throughout the game's life, it's likely won't always be the player's focus of attention. Okay, so there's going to be obviously more to do in this game than just the regular storyline quest. Okay, so far so good, but normal. What will the primary method of advancement, questing, grinding, or a combination of the two? Answer. There will be an ample opportunity for both. If you want to get the most out of this game, you'll need to split your time across a, a few different activities. Okay. Not very detailed answer, if you noticed on that one. So questing, I mean, everyone understands what questing is, but grinding on mobile MMOs normally have to do with autoplay, and this game is not going to have that. Will players be able to achieve max level by questing alone, or will completing quests only get them so far? Great question. Answer, quests are a great source of experience to level up, but they probably won't be able to reach the end game from the main quest line alone. So normally you have to do some grinding. There's going to be, in mobile MMOs, there's always like um, events. So it'll be like the Easter event, the St. Patrick's event, the blah, blah, whatever. There's always something going on uh, in the world as far as holidays. So you normally get experience from those side events, the quest line, and then side quests. Will quests be arranged in hubs or mainly be in a linear storyline taking the players from one place to another? Answer. Each of the zones will naturally have an area where people tend to congregate, but there will also be quests to find off the beaten path. Okay, so that's a fairly detailed answer. So the main storyline is going to take you through all the different zones, but if you are one that likes to explore, at least in this answer, you can find other maybe side quests or things that you can do that make you not have to follow always the main storyline. I enjoy having multiple alts, alternative characters, in MMORPGs. Will there be an incentive or bonus for players who make alts and already have a high level slash max character? Now let me break this down what this means. Let's say you were playing Lineage, okay? Lin it's a game I played a lot. In Lineage, if you have multiple characters, it actually buffs all the characters together. 
So you get a 5% increase in X or Y if you have multiple characters or if you have or if you have the same character, which is silly, like who wants to build the same character? Just a further way to progress your main character um, to become even more powerful. Answer. We don't currently have any particular systems planned that reward alts. However, they will have distinct playstyles, so it will be nice to have a variety at your disposal. So no. The answer is no. But each character he is saying will be so different that if you get bored at one, you could switch over to another character because they're so different. Will there be a mechanic where high level characters can group up with lower level ones? I tend to out level my friends and family at time. Shh. Who's this guy I think he is? Answer. Nothing currently planned. So, while you can group with your friends of any level, they may struggle in higher zones or not get rewards on par with those they'd get grouped with players of their own level. Or not get rewards on par with those they'd get grouped with players of their own level. Okay. So, a low-level character can't can join a high level group obviously they would struggle but they would not get the rewards of that high level group and then if you flip it a high level character could join a low level character but obviously the low level the high level character isn't going to get anything from it but what this does tell you is that you could run players through the game that's really what this question is all about so if I had a friend that was playing for six months and then I jumped on, he could group with me at level one and I could just follow him around while he kills everything and we run through it and I get the experience. It's a way people make money and do other things. Question. How customizable will your character creation be in Warhammer Odyssey? Answer. Players will be able to pick from several familiar options, such as hairstyle, skin tone, facial features, hair, eye, hair, and eye color, and a few others. That's pretty basic, but at least you could do something, so that's cool. Will you be including included a form of wardrobe system at release for players who enjoy tailor tailoring their character's appearance with collectible items slash styles? Answer. Maintaining each class's iconic look is important to us, so don't expect crazy outfits, but there will be a number of ways players can customize their look to suit their taste. When I see that, I think microtransactions. This game's for sure going to have microtransactions. All mobile MMOs do, but... Saying that there's going to be a way to customize your character, but don't really expect crazy outfits, probably means that you're going to have to pay to make your character look a certain way. I mean, that's not what they're saying, but that's how I interpret it, so we will see on that one. How will travel be handled in the game? Will there be player mounts? Ooh, what a great question, MMORPG. Answer. There will be a variety of fast travel points players can unlock as they progress through the story. As for mounts, it's definitely something we plan to have in the future. However, we want to take our time and make sure it's done in a way that makes sense in content of the lore. So there'll be waypoints or yeah, travel points. So basically you could just zoom for any zone or area you want to go to once you get there. But in between, they're not going to have any mount system, which is fine as long as they have a lot of those travel points because people hate having to travel. One of the largest concerns potential players have is that the game could contain systems which are commonly seen in other mobile titles, such as autoplay and an energy system. Can you talk about systems players won't see in Warhammer Odyssey? Now before I read this answer, normally, I'm just going to keep picking Lineage because it was a huge MMO title, people still play it. You could just auto battle. So you could set your parameters, hit auto, and plug your phone in, and let it go. I mean, literally, it was like an every night thing. Oh my gosh, it drove my wife crazy. Because my phone would literally just be auto battling all night. And then if it wasn't on, I would like wake up and like go turn it back on to auto battle. So literally, the game plays for you. 
I mean, there is things that you have to do, like all your daily assignments and stuff, but it auto-travels you to the area, it'll auto-complete the quest for you, and it'll auto-battle for grinding. I mean, that's how most mobile MMOs are. And if you haven't played one before, like, it sounds silly, but once you do it, it's like, oh yeah, this is convenient, but it ends up taking really the fun out of the game. And the energy system is just normally like, oh, after a certain amount of time you have to rest or you have to pay to get more energy when you're playing. You know, it almost like forces you to take a break or to spend money. Answer. You won't find autoplay or auto combat features, nor is there any form of energy system that gatekeeps players from continuing to enjoy the content they want to play. So... This sentence right here is what's keeping me and my friends from not writing off this game because we want a play that we could show. We want a game that we could play and show our skill that doesn't have auto battle on it. But it is interesting. This isn't actually ultra specific. This doesn't mean that you can't auto travel. Auto play, auto combat. We'll see. Auto travel isn't terrible. Any chance of seeing a PC port at some point in the future for players who prefer not to use a mobile device to play the game? Answer. Never say never, but we want to make a really enjoyable mobile experience first. They're not going to port this game to PC. If you read the comments below, a lot of people want it to be ported. They're not going to do it. It is an unfortunate, sad reality that right now, at least money-wise, it's in mobile titles. It sucks. But that's just where we're at. Okay, so let's wrap this video up. Decided to cut out the other questions. It basically just talks about NPC characters that you interact with throughout the game. It was pretty boring. But I'm going to link that interview in the description below if you want to go through and read the rest of the questions. So, I know I kind of gave my opinions question by question, but I just kind of wanted to give a conclusion now. So, I know a lot of people out there hate mobile MMOs, but if you plan on playing mobile MMOs and you specifically like the Warhammer universe so far, this is the best you're going to get even possibly just MMO mobile in the future. So characters look good, build diversity looks good, no auto questing, so you actually have to use your own fingers to play. I think it's gonna be a pretty good title. So far, almost no red flags from, this is the third time that they've done a dev Q&A, so. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or leave it in the comments below. I am building a clan guild, whatever it's going to be for this game at launch. I'm hoping to have a top, let's say clan, when this game comes out of however many players it's going to be allow me to build it. So if you're thinking about playing this game and get into it early, just feel free to leave a comment below and I can get in touch with you or shoot me an email. If you're looking for any more of my content, it's going to be popping up on the screen now. What I am on right now is Warhammer Odyssey's website, and I'm going to link that in the description below as well, because you could still pre-register for this game. So that's all I got. Stay safe, stay home. Aaron, out.